A sobering milestone marks World Refugee Day. For the first time since World War II, the number of refugees has exceeded 50 million people. Liling Tang joins us live from the United Nations. Liling, why such alarming numbers? Hey, RCA, it's really because we're still, in a way, looking at a world at war, albeit a different type. Now, hot spots of conflict persist and span the African continent from the Central African Republic to the borders between Sudan and South Sudan. In the Middle East, there's Syria, there's Iraq, and then, of course, there are emerging crises in Colombia and South America, Myanmar in Asia. And countries in turmoil have led to this 51 million and more uh, displaced around the world, and that's the highest on record, according to the latest UN report covering 2013. Lilling, despite efforts by the international community to help address these conflicts, it seems they are continuing. They are not ending. Why is that? Well. The, first of all, the top three hotspots we're looking at are Afghanistan, Syria and Somalia, accounting for nearly 11 million people. That's more than 32,000 people a day. So that's that's a huge spike. And um, what, why hasn't the international community made progress in helping? Because of limited resources, budgetary constraints, um, logistical challenges. And the UN says a large number of um, refugees and displaced means more is required from donor countries in the form of foreign aid, as well as from countries taking in refugees and humanitarian organizations face a daunting, cha uh, daunting challenge in terms of raising funds to address uh, multiplying crises and also a failure in leadership among the international community. That's also a contributing factor, according to the UNHCR, and that um, and he said the international com community has basically lost its capacity to prevent conflict and solve conflict. And of course, uh, Syria is a prime example here until today the at the Security Council nations remain divided over what to do in Syria. RCA? Right. Thank you so much. Liling Tan live at the United Nations.